So we like home entertainment technology because we love watching movies, playing video games, and listening to music. It's that experience that we're after, and our technology is what gives it to us. But technology can be complicated at times, and we just want to have fun. And in order to keep it fun, it's got to be easy. And control systems are the part of our system that keeps it easy and helps keep it fun because it takes all the guesswork and all the um, the necessary know-how and how to turn everything on and set everything up to get you into the experience. It takes all that out of the equation and, and keeps it simple. Because let's face it, the less that stands between us and our favorite movies and video games and music, the better. So in this video, I'm going to show you how a URC control system can get us into playing Xbox or a video game console quick and easy and fast with minimal steps through a really cool setup. Check this out. The objective here is I want to be able to sit down and play Xbox without having to pick up a remote control to fire up my surround sound system and TV and everything. I just want to sit down, turn the Xbox on, and get to playing. Alright, so besides the uh, Xbox One and the control processor, these are the parts I'm going to need to make this work. First of all, we've got the URC Send Light uh, light sensor. Basically, it plugs into the control processor, and this little guy goes on the component um, and can, or, or whatever else you're trying to detect light from, and it will uh, detect the presence of light and let this make the system aware of that. And then this is a Toslink or fiber optic cable for typically used for digital audio. Um, we're not going to be using it for that in this case. And then lastly, we have a um, Toslink cable coupler. It's normally used for uh, joining two uh, optical cables together. And that's really all I need, and some programming and such to make this happen. Okay, you're looking at the back of my Xbox, and essentially we need the control system to be able to recognize when the Xbox has been turned on so that it can then power on the rest of the system and switch inputs appropriately and so on. Do its job, basically. And so what I've got going on here is the what's going to do that is I've got my fiber optic cable connected into the fiber optic uh, output which is used for digital audio on older surround sound receivers I'm not using that for I don't need that port in my system because like most of us we have uh, HDMI that carries both picture and sound to the television so the cool thing about the fiber optic cable is it uses a red light in order to carry the signal the audio signal to the component and in this case the the red light is going to be telling the control system whether or not the unit's on or off. Um, we're going to use the light sensor to track that. So what I've got here is my fiber optic cable and then uh, on the end of that I've got my coupler which is basically providing me with a nice flat surface to connect the light sensor to. And uh, Let me see if the camera picks this up. So basically I'm going to turn the Xbox on And you can kind of see there that the uh, there's a red light basically in that um, in that Toslink connector coupler. So that red light is on whenever the unit's on, and it's off whenever the unit is off. I'm gonna get a shot without the flash on my camera real quick, uh, so maybe you could see it a little better. Hold on. So there's the um, there's the red light glowing since the Xbox is on the. Uh, optical output is active and it's shining that red light in my um, coupler there. Okay, so now I have the um, light sensor connected into my control processor and the receiving end of that light sensor is stuck to the end of my um, toss link cable with the coupler on it. Uh, right now the Xbox is off so that orange light indicates that it's not receiving 
and or sorry the green light there indicates that it's not receiving any light I think the light from my camera flash had tripped it orange but uh, there you can see the green light means no light is detected so now I'm just gonna turn on the Xbox and you'll see the light go to orange and that's because the uh, digital optical out is active and so now there's a red light inside of the coupler there that the uh, sensor is picking up and then it can react and after a bit of programming here's the final result Not bad. Set up to play some Madden. And then when I'm all done, I can turn it off, turn console off, and it takes a few seconds for the Xbox to actually power down. And then once it does, the uh, system will recognize it and turn everything off. Wish this part was just a little bit quicker, but it's not too bad. There you have it.